Ever see this error? Probably not. Unless you're a prolific builder, which apparently I am. What does it mean? What can you do? Good guys free here, and I'm here to explain and suggest what to do. What does this mean? It means that the current save file has 16,000 base parts registered. Yikes! With a single base part limit of 3,000, and many of my bases under 200 parts, you get the picture. Well, unfortunately there are only two things you can do, and neither of them is fun. The simplest thing to do is to start a new save. Did I say already that it's not going to be fun? Yeah, I know. The other solution is... Wait for it... Base culling! We basically go through our bases and decide if we can live without them, or at least whether we can remove some parts. For the rest of this video, this is what I will do. Some bases I will simply delete. In resource mines I will reduce the number of supply depots. Some bases I will not touch. Let's go. This is my settlement, and I created a building that mimics the same style. Let's go inside and see. Here you can see that I cannot add another part, and I am getting that error due to the 16,000 part limit. As I open the teleporter, you see I have a weird bug garbling the base photos. Never mind. We start at the activated indium mine base, since I know it has plenty of supply depots that I don't really need. This is the base, on a harsh planet of course. First, let's take the activated indium before we remove the supply depots, because deleting the depots will make you lose any resource inside it. Now we use the build camera to go outside and remove some of the supply depots and the floor panels they were placed on. Leaving build camera mode, I can see that I can now build a new part inside this base. Before we go to another base, don't forget to sell the activated indium or your inventory space will fill up. Another super important thing to do is check the supply depot and verify its status is filling. If it isn't, then we must have disconnected the extractor pipeline. If you don't remove the resources from the supply depots, you won't be able to check this either. Also notice that removing supply depots each gives back 10 metal plating, and each 10 metal plating take up an inventory slot, so be sure to sell them too. Here's a base I started, and don't think I actually need. Before actually deleting the base, I manually delete all the parts. Otherwise, you'll need a base salvage capsule installed at another base of yours, and it recovers about 60 to 70% of the resources. Of course, I can't delete the landing pad because of my ship, so I'll move the ship away so I can delete it. There. Now delete everything else, and we're done. Now I can go and delete the base. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more content. After the base is deleted, I have to fly up to space and summon my freighter, because that's where the nearest teleporter is. Here's a second portal base I have in Euclid, and I don't need two of those, so here goes in high speed. I didn't bother showing you my various showcase bases where I didn't touch, but I am sure I could find some parts to remove there too. Now we open the save editor and select the main save. When loaded, we go to the bases and storage tab. We can already see the first base selected and that it uses 1538 parts. So let's feed this in. I'll put a link in the description about using the save editor. Let's uh, fast forward. There, 923 parts remaining. Let's keep building. 